Hey, in this Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy method on how to edit your TikTok videos right inside of Premiere Pro. In this tutorial, we are going to go over a couple of different things, including your sequence settings to get you started, your export settings, how to transfer your files between devices, and how to upload to TikTok from your phone. Before we start, what I would suggest is best to record your footage in as portrait mode, as that is best native for TikTok. Although this is not necessary as the clips that I'm about to demonstrate are recorded in landscape mode. So here, if we start in Premiere Pro, I already have my clips recorded and imported. But once you have created a new project, start by importing the clips you have recorded for TikTok and then go up here and create a new sequence. You can also use the shortcut key, Command and N for a quicker access to create a new sequence. So at the top, if you click on settings, and here we are going to create a sequence that has the proper dimensions for portrait mode. Typically, a landscape video will be 16 by 9 or 1920 by 1080 for a 1080p sequence, which you will typically see on YouTube. So here we are going to just switch around these two frame sizes so that we can have a 1080p vertical sequence. So now your settings should read 1080 by 1920. The rest of these settings you can leave alone, or, if you have any particular settings such as a different frame rate to us in the UK, then you can change these as well. And then hit OK at the bottom right. Now you can see on our project window that we have a vertical sequence that looks like your phone's display. So if you bring your footage across onto the sequence and edit away your video. Once you have something edited, you will see that there is a black spacing in and around your videos. This is because of the different format that we have shot our original footage in. To fix this, if we go up to the Effects Control tab at the top and go down to Scale and Position. Now if we adjust the scale so that our image fills the whole of the sequence frame and then we adjust the position so that the main focus of the video is now in shot in our vertical sequence. A quick way of then applying your scale to all of your clips is to select the clip you have just adjusted, right click and click on Copy and then select all the other clips. If you then right click and then click Paste Attributes and then enter down at the bottom, making sure that motion is ticked on. Now all we have to do is change the position of each clip in order to have our main frame focused up. So once we have everything edited and you're ready to get it posted up on TikTok, we now need to export the video. If you go up to File and Export Sequence or use the shortcut Command and M at the same time. If you start off with the format being H.264, and then if you select the preset and change that to high quality 1080p HD. Then if you go down and click match source so that it exports at the proper dimensions. And then scroll down, click render at maximum depth. Scroll down again and change the VBR pass change from 1 to 2. This sometimes improves the sharpness a little bit in your video. Then at the bottom, click use maximum render quality. And finally, before exporting, we can go up to the output name, change the name and the export location before clicking OK and then finally clicking Export. Once your video has exported, we now need to get it across to your device so that it is ready to post on TikTok. If you have a Mac and an Apple device, then your easiest option would be to airdrop your footage to your iPhone. However, if you don't have a MacBook or an iPhone, then the best option would be to create a free Dropbox account upload your footage to Dropbox on your computer, download the application on your phone, and download your footage once all is connected. To airdrop your file, if you have an airdrop window open, as well as the folder that your file is in, and then have airdrop turned on on your phone, your phone should display here, and then it is the case of dropping it onto your phone's icon so that it will transfer to your phone. This will then open up in your camera roll in your phone. Or to go through the Dropbox method, I have created a Dropbox account, clicked on Upload File, found my file in Finder, and once the video is uploaded, I now can go over to my phone and see that the clip is now in my Dropbox folder. To download it now, I have the option by clicking the three dots at the end of the footage, and then click Save Video to Device. This will take a couple of minutes to download, and once downloaded, it will also be available in my camera roll. Now once your video has been downloaded, we can launch the TikTok app and click Upload. Find your video clip in your library and then you can flick through all the different TikTok settings. You can add your own music or sounds or descriptions, but once complete, 
just click upload. Now we can see that the video we have edited is now posted on our TikTok. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.